2018, what a year. A year full of memes, schemes, and broken dreams. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your everyday nerd, the show where we talk about disappointing sh all the time. This just so happens to be a momentous occasion. I'm your host, Zach Sander, today's Feel Bad Friday. Happy Friday. If you're new around here, on Fridays we talk about the disappointing things in life. If I had to put 2018 on a list of best to worst years of my life, in the 22 years that I've been alive, I'd probably have to put 2018 towards the bottom. On one hand, while I've figured out what I want to do in life and I'm working towards that every single day, that also meant that I had to sacrifice a lot this year. And while I don't regret any of my decisions, those decisions were still extremely hard and taxing. But I'm not here to talk about the disappointing things in my personal life. And since I already made a video talking about my favorite things of 2018, I wanted to take a moment to talk about some specific things that disappointed me this year. I can't let another kid die. I'm not gonna let that happen. First up is The Walking Dead, the final season. I played the first season of The Walking Dead in 2017 and I really enjoyed it. So when the final season was meant to come out, I decided to go ahead and pre-order it on PS4 because with that pre-order, you got the entire Walking Dead collection. Now I had already owned the first two seasons on Steam, but this was a steal. So I streamed the entirety of season one again on Twitch and started getting through season two, but I realized that season two is not really that good, but it really didn't matter because even if I wanted to keep playing The Walking Dead, I would never be able to finish the story because Telltale shut down in 2018. It was pretty much a surprise to everybody. Consumers, fans, the employees of Telltale, the entire company fired its employees without severance pay, which is a really shit thing to do. And the icing on the cake is we're not going to get the finale to the series. So will I play the rest of season two and finish everything that's made up to this point? I honestly don't know because I don't think it'd be worth it. At least season one was good though. It's a fun time. Man, this was disappointing. Next up is something you probably didn't know I would talk about on this channel and that is The Carter Five by Lil Wayne. An album that a lot of hip hop fans have been looking forward to for a few years now and we finally got it in 2018. I listened to it a good bit when it released and honestly now it's just like a solid 5 out of 10. I really like a few of the tracks on it like Mona Lisa and Don't Cry but the rest of the album is just okay. It didn't live up to its hype and while Wayne used to be one of the best in the game it's clear that he's just not as great as he used to be. One of the movies that I was really looking forward to this year was Ready Player One. And boy, was that a mistake. Now, if you go to theaters and turn your brain off for a couple hours, Ready Player One is like a Where's Waldo of references. That's about it. It's kind of fun to see all of these different nerdy references that you've grown up with, but at the end of the day, it's just a soulless nostalgia cash grab with an uninteresting story, very flat characters, and some things that just don't make any sense whatsoever. Where's my sexual sauce? Next up on the disappointing list is Szechuan Sauce. No, I'm not kidding. Ever since that faithful Rick and Morty episode about Szechuan Sauce, I was kind of interested in trying the damn sauce. And then McDonald's listened to fans and released a sauce that hasn't been around in 20 years. And long story short, it's not good. It was kind of okay for the first few nuggets, but then after that you just kind of tasted like soy sauce and barbecue sauce mixed together in a disgusting combination. I'm really curious on how many people actually liked it and ended up going and getting more of it and compare that to how many people just said they liked it because they were a fan of Rick and Morty. Speaking of disappointing things this year, the Rick and Morty fan base was abysmal. Everywhere I turned, Rick and Morty fans were screaming about a cartoon. I really enjoy Rick and Morty. but. 
It's this fan base that just kind of came out of nowhere and caused way too much shit on the internet. The next most disappointing thing in 2018 was Justice League. Yes, this movie came out in 2017, but I'm still disappointed about it in 2018. Every single time this movie gets brought up, I just think about how disappointed I was when I saw this cam copy of this movie, and I just get sadder and sadder thinking about it. And oh boy, the next most disappointing thing on this disappointing list is YouTube. Now I could give the cop out answer and just say YouTube Rewind because it was bad, but unfortunately this year was disappointing for YouTube for a few different things because they just continued to sh the bed over and over again. There was this one day where the entire site was offline. That was fun. Then there was the fact that people weren't getting notified about new videos even after they clicked the damn stupid bell. There's the fact that they don't support their biggest content creator, PewDiePie, and they're shutting down other channels for controversial reasons. YouTube has officially gone corporate in 2018. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. And since I do like making videos on the platform, I do have to play by the rules. I still can't just sit there and say that I wasn't disappointed. But now it's time to talk about the thing that everybody expected me to put on this list, Fallout 76. Life is old older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze. Country roads, Todd Howard lied, I hate this game, it's so bad. I wanna die. Fuck this game. Take me home. Country roads. Now I made an entire video about this, so I won't go on about it too much. But I pre-ordered Fallout 76 like a dumb baby. I thought that Papa Todd Howard wouldn't let me down, and what I got was a broken excuse for a game. I found nothing enjoyable about Fallout 76, it's ugly, there's no real story, there's no NPCs, I don't like people enough to play with them in the multiplayer, there's monetization bullshit, everything about Fallout 76 was disappointing and bad. And the worst part is, I paid $60 for it that I'm never going to get back. So I'm still selling my copies of Skyrim ports to this day so that I can get some of that money back. So here's a question. What can be more disappointing than the most disappointing game of 2018? Well, have you heard of a little thing called MoviePass? At the beginning of this year, I signed up for MoviePass, a subscription service that lets you watch one movie a day in theaters for free. Well, you pay the subscription fee and then they pay for your tickets and then you don't have to pay for every single movie you go and see. In a perfect world, this would have gone on my favorite things of 2018. But about halfway through the year, it was clear that this was not a good decision on my part. What started as a you can't see a movie every day in theaters turned into you can only see every movie once, so don't be trying to see Avengers Infinity War five times, to eventually you can watch one of these two movies at whatever time we let you, you can watch it once, and that's it. So I basically stopped using this service in August when I went to go see Ant-Man and the Wasp. I know not a great movie, but it was a new Marvel movie. I had to go see it in theaters and the damn app would not let me use it. So I had to pay for the ticket, even though I have paid for this service up until February. I'm just hoping that I can actually cancel the thing because a lot of people have not been able to cancel their service this year. There, there's just been so much bull this company has gone through this year that it's amazing man I wish that for one I had transportation this year so I could have used it a little bit more in the beginning and two I wish movie pass was still good because honestly I would have loved to have the service like this for the next 10 years and yet life isn't fair speaking of life isn't fair let's talk about the most disappointing thing of 2018 for me paying rent <laughs> I'm not joking. I started renting a house this year with my best friend Damien. Every month they expect us to pay this rent. There's no discounts. I can't use coupons. They want it every single month. It's just disappointing because I didn't have to pay that in my college apartment. I mean, that was probably worth more, but I had scholarships for that. So let me know where I can get some rent scholarships because I do not like this part of adulting. Well, I guess I'm a sellout now. 
Did you enjoy this video and maybe you're thinking, Hey Zach, I want to know how to do the things you did in the video like video editing or thumbnail designs. Well, you're in luck because today I'm introducing you to Skillshare or maybe you've heard about Skillshare before but I'm going to tell you a little bit about it anyways. In today's world, everybody wants to be a YouTuber but they may not know how to develop the proper skills that it takes to put out quality content on the regular you know, to please the almighty YouTube algorithm. You could be like me who took seven years of hard work and dedication to learn how to edit videos at least decently. Or you could use Skillshare, which is an online learning platform with tons of classes taught by some of the best teachers in their respective fields. In other words, if you want to learn photography, why not learn it from someone who's successful at photography? If you want to learn video editing, web development, writing, or more, Skillshare is the place to go. It's affordable, it's useful, and if you use the link in the description box below, you can get two free months, that's right, two completely free months, 60 days, completely free on me. So go children, go learn to be a better YouTuber than me. You can do it. That's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't for whatever reason, you can hit the dislike button. Let me know down in the comments what your most disappointing thing of 2018 was. Go ahead and subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.